Hi, Rich Powell from ClearPath here. Since the dawn of the nuclear age in the 1950s, nuclear reactors have been supplying Americans with clean, reliable, and affordable energy. Today, while we still rely on clean 24-7 power from traditional reactors for nearly 20% of our electricity in the U.S., American innovators are building the nuclear power of tomorrow. Our nation's largest utility companies and plenty of other industries in the U.S. are making big bets they will reach net zero carbon dioxide, or CO2, emissions by 2050. But the utilities will be the first to tell you that the technology needed to get them all the way to zero doesn't really exist today. And without a large helping of nuclear power in the mix to produce needed clean energy, these bets are less likely and will certainly be more expensive. The good news? A really exciting path is being cleared for advanced nuclear energy. A moonshot goal of bringing advanced nuclear technology to market just became reality with the Advanced Reactor Demonstration Program, or ARDP. The ARDP was a concept we helped develop in partnership with the Oak Ridge and Idaho National Labs, the Department of Energy, and congressional leaders like Senators Lamar Alexander and Lisa Murkowski in 2016. America is home to the world's best and brightest engineers, researchers, and developers. But too often, their innovations never make it from basic R&D through the valley of death to actual commercialization. Success has required robust public-private partnerships, like the ARDP. Before I explain the winning technologies, let's congratulate the two companies who were selected for the ARDP, TerraPower and X-Energy. These two companies, along with their teams, will partner with DOE and the National Labs to demonstrate their advanced reactor concepts in the next seven years. TerraPower's Natrium Reactor is a 345 megawatt electric sodium fast reactor that uses metal fuel utilizing high assay, low enriched uranium, basically higher test fuel than is used in today's generation of commercial nuclear reactors. We call that HALU for short. TerraPower has teamed up with General Electric Hitachi and Bechtel as energy and technology partners and the utilities Duke Energy, Energy Northwest, and Pacificor, part of Berkshire Hathaway, who are interested in one day building a technology like this. To fuel their reactor, they're partnering with Centris to expand their HALU enrichment capabilities. The Natrium reactor will use a molten salt energy storage system attached to the nuclear reactor, which can boost the system's output to 500 megawatts for more than five and a half hours. Let me put that in perspective. One of the world's largest grid-scale batteries was commissioned by Tesla for a wind farm in South Australia. Their lithium-ion battery storage capacity is 150 megawatts for a little more than one hour. Natrium's molten salt storage system can produce more than four times that energy. This is effectively makes natrium a flexible clean energy source that can easily and economically ramp its power production up and down, making it a great complement to variable wind and solar energy in a low-cost, zero-emissions energy system. Now, the second winner. X-Energy's XE100 reactor is an 80-megawatt electric, helium-cooled, high-temperature gas reactor. It will be built as a four-module plant, so it will produce a total of 320 megawatts. The XE100 is a pebble bed reactor, that uses tri-structural isotropic particle fuel. We call that trisofuel for short. It will also utilize high assay, low enriched uranium, or HALU. X-Energy has partnered with the supplier Global Nuclear Fuel to develop their trisofuel and is currently manufacturing trisoparticles and fuel pebbles at Oak Ridge National Lab. Another really cool feature of the X100 reactor is its high temperature helium gas. The temperature reaches 750 degrees Celsius, which means it can also be used in energy-intensive processes that currently rely on unmitigated fossil fuels for heat, such as hydrogen production and petroleum refining. This clean heat is an innovation we'll desperately need to reach net zero emissions across all industries. By building these advanced nuclear reactors, we're on our way to adding advanced nuclear energy to the grid and reestablishing American nuclear energy leadership. While there are additional steps that still need to be taken, setting big goals and actually demonstrating real reactors is a market signal we need right now. Good luck and congratulations to the ARDP winners, TerraPower and X Energy. Thanks for watching.